Welcome back to Vine Sauce Edutainment. This is now uh, a series that has started during the charity stream. As you know, this is a charity incentive, and I figured tonight would be a good night to check out the remaining edutainment, including a bonus edutainment game, which was just recommended not too long ago, called Rolly, I think. So I have a couple ones that you may remember from when you were a kid that people tweeted over to me a while back. And this one is just so fucking weird that I wouldn't even know where to begin explaining it. So just, I guess, behold. Because I... I am a very confused man. As I promised, there will be no bungee during tonight's stream. Ooh. Sorry, I lied. Uh, there was bungee. I just wanted to lower the volume here a little Okay. Alright, now bungee's gone. Bungee will be here in spirit only. Oh, that's still a tremendously terrible noise. So Japanese edutainment. <laughs> Right. Okay, so here's what I can tell you about this. This was made by the people who made LSD. Not the drug, the game. So it's one of those things. Meet Pawn, the good-natured scatterbrain. Hey, you mock it? That's about as good as I could do with a 3D um, character. I can't model. I could do no better. Ba Banaten, the computer genius. <laughs> Las Vegas, Akiko, the dancing queen. from Detroit. Sunday stream right here. There it is. Right here. Jumping Jack Boo, the karate champion of the world. George, the slothful fair. Are we learning yet, Jack? This won't be on a quiz, but are we learning? What have you learned? <laughs> the three irresolute bagworm brothers del Montas. I haven't even played the game yet. Mr. Okhost, the famous cook? That, that is indeed the alphabet. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This music is pretty fucking... Wow. I feel oh, okay, so it's kind of like the Giggle Bone Gang. It's the Japanese version of the Giggle Bone Gang, except there's no annoying frog. Um... Uh, I'm gonna go for the. Let's start with the, with the, with, with the presumable pig. 
jumping jack poop. The music is absolutely wonderful. It's outside. It's insane, and I love it. And yes, you can very much hear the thread between this and the LSD game. So I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. What are we learning? Jumping Jack Bo is the world's strongest pig who has trained as a warrior all over the world and mastered the secrets of every kind of contest. He has the uh, dragon on his back tattooed during his training days. He is also a karate action star who can sing, dance, and throw punches. His most famous line is, If you make me mad, this dragon will breathe fire. Fire. His, the, uh, the name of his tattoo is Tatsuro. <laughs> Jumping Jack Boo is not only known for his martial arts, but also is expert in languages. You are so the expert, Ma! Including Japanese, English, and Chinese, it's true that he can skillfully use all these languages. He's also careless and never fails to make a mistake with a word here or there, or spell a word wrongly. Well, then why are we learning from him? Sounds like he's ripping his pants. This game was lost media for over 20 years. Not even the creator had a copy. No shit. Oh, it's like Cyber Grannies. Behold the T. It's arbitrary that the symbol would make a t sound. We just all agree that it does. There's no inherentness about this symbol. It, it, it contains no essence of. As the singer of Buck Cherry once said, "Words, man. We made them up." That's what it is. It's time. That's time. right. Well, how about that? I don't know uh, where this stuff came from. What? Am I supposed to do something? Oh my god. This is like... Mario Kart 64 Wario Stadium graphics. Did he just, like... Did his titties just sink? Is he old now? got old. He's dead now. Because time. I don't want to say this too early, but... Peak Sunday? Yeah, his titty sank. You see that? They just, they affirmed up because he went back and said, he's not dead, don't worry. Don't worry about it, he's fine. Kids game. T 
time passes so quickly for all of us. In fact, it seems to speed up as you get older and older. Even one's lifetime, it is said, passes in a mere flash. Think of your summer vacations. Each day seemed so long and lazy. But when it was all over, you couldn't figure out where the time went. Things that happened years ago seem to have happened only yesterday. Not even the fleet-footed Banatan could outrun time and its effects. Yeah, this is a... Yep. Now, I'm all for educating kids about life and reality because, you know, reality is, is, is tough. And when you teach kids that everything's okay, it's always going to be okay, and that everything's amazing and it doesn't end up that way, well, then, then disorders develop over time. 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 But maybe this is a little much. Maybe children don't need a fucking existential crisis quite so heavy. Is my um, opin opinion? That's my my Sharona. But um, well, you run and you run and catch up with the sun, but it's sinking. Coral. Coral. Coral, it's me, Rick Grimes, Coral. Coral. There's some Zambos in the back, Coral. Walkers. Coral. Walkers, Coral. 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 So I, I can't play this, right? It goes very slow. It's a nice Virtua Fighter parody. Uh, I, en I enjoy this. Alright, now kiss. Black Mirror reference. Yeah. It's a weird fucking episode. <laughs> Come on, use your special moves. Cool. Coral. Coral. In a quarrel, both parties are to blame. Or you say it that way, it's much better. That's not always the case, though. Since it takes two to tangle, both sides in any fight are equally to blame. What if the monkey pulled out a knife and was like, I'm gonna cut you, bitch, and then they started to quarrel? Are both parties... What if it's self-defense? What if you're trying to save your family from some kind of fucking, like, monster man? Equally at fault and must face whatever... Uh, I mean, there's exceptions. Yeah, two to, t two to tangle. It's even... It, isn't it... It takes... Two to tango? Like, dance? Am I... Uh, What? Vaptured. Va vaptured. Vac vac. Vaptured. Ventured. Ventured. V v v vaptured. V raptured. Rapture. Raptured. Vaptured. Raptors. Vaptured. Rentured. Vaptured. What? Vaptured. Ventured. 
<laughs> rat turd. <laughs> oh, it was rat turd this whole time. Thanks. <laughs> this might be one of my favorite educational games I've, I've streamed yet. <laughs> this is up there with Cyber Grannies. I actually have to play this one. <laughs> did, did you see that the smile was just the model being distor distorted and deformed a bit? Look at look at my hooves. Ladymus. God, I love Japan. Sing me the fucking words. Nothing nothing Thanks. You have to be willing sometimes to take a chance if you want to gain something of value. The trick, however, is knowing when it is the right time to take the risk. Yeah, I, I appreciate the life advice. Boo was willing to bet big and one big, no pain, no gain. I, I yeah, I mean, on some level, nothing this is a little more interesting to me than um. Just learning about a thing from a fucking psychopath frog that eats, like, dogs. So, at least, we're learning little life lessons. I'm just going for the letters that I can't imagine what the word would be. So, I'm gonna try, um, a couple other letters, like Z. You know, Zoo, z Zebra? Let's see. Z. 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 It's just the letter Z. Z. Okay. It's no word associated here. It's Z. just okay. Z. Z. Oh, sleep. Like Z's. Z. 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 Zito. Z. 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 <laughs> Z. <laughs> That's kind of cool looking. Let's try to guess the life lesson. All right, what's what do we learn? <laughs> what did we learn? Z is the last letter in the alphabet. In comic books, it is often used to show the character is sleeping. <laughs> they really ran out of steam here, didn't they? Whenever he has the chance, George likes to lie around and do nothing or fall asleep with a runny nose. He enjoys being lazy. And the Z's emitted from his nose probably decided to give him a little start out of pure boredom. Boredom? Uh, perhaps it was George's inner self telling him to stop wasting his life and to have a bit more fun. Yeah, I didn't get any of that from that, um... Right? The fucking thing? X hole. X hole. X gonna give it to you. X. X. Again, lazy. X. X. 
just like multiplication. The fuck? Sometimes in life you must X. But remember not to wear the X for too long, lest you kill the X. That's the lesson. X the unknown? X the unknown. In mathematics, X is a symbol for an unknown quantity. Oh. What? It is used to represent anything you don't know? <laughs> what would you do if you encountered something really strange, like an alien or a ghost? Most of us feel threatened by things we don't fully know or understand. <laughs> when the mysterious X appeared, Boo, with Tatsuro on his back, got into a fight with it. If they had made the effort to communicate, they might have ended up as friends. <laughs> <laughs> when we encounter something new, we should at least take a good look at it and make an effort to understand what it is. Don't you agree? I, I guess. Sure. I, I mean, you probably don't want to get too close to something you can't identify. What if it's, a, what if it's a, like a squid with AIDS? Be careful. That's what I'm trying to say. Be careful. Uh, what are we doing next, chat? What? No, that's a Y. That's not a U. That's not a U. I know, I know what it is, yes. It's a slingshot, of course. That's what- it's a slingshot. Sock. What about? With me. Thought someone was squeezing a hog. In this picture right here. Actually, I don't... What's happening? Um... Me. I'm as confused as you are, chat. Uh huh. You, if you noticed, the, uh, Look before you leap. Look before you leap. It is important to be well prepared before starting out on any undertaking. You need to learn the lay of the land in advance and come prepared for what you expect to meet. If you're setting out for rough terrain, for example, you will need a good, sturdy walking stick to keep you from stumbling. Cho's preparation, foresight, and watchfulness enabled him to avoid punch traps. Bringing George along, of course, didn't hurt either. Oftentimes, being prepared is more mental than it is physical, and combined with good measure of prudence can serve you in good stead indeed. Yep. There you go, just bring George. Um, so don't take risks, but be prepared and look before you leap. And then use your friend as a rope. 
or as a, a stepping stone. I have to do more of this. I, I can't help it now. I have to check out some of the later alphabet. Who? With. What? Who? Who? With. With. Who? Who? With. With. Who? Hands are, were not exactly the strong point of these uh, 3D modelers. Have you noticed that? They tried their best. But it's just sausages. Yep, the lesson here is just spread yourself. Mm -hmm. That's who and with, of course. If you are greedy and try to do too many things uh, at the same time, you're likely to fail at everything. Pawn had no trouble catching his favorite treats at one time, but when he tried to get two at once, he ended up with nothing. I see, I see. That's an interesting use of the letter W. I mean, Cyber Grannies, if I clicked on the W in Cyber Grannies, it would just be water. And it would be like a granny singing about water for a second. At least we learned something. Someone said this game makes them want the frog back. People want the letter F. I mean, you know it's not going to be fuck, right? Fire. 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 Shit's on fire. Stay away. Fire. 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 Walk cycle. Wow. Wow, okay. Fire. Get back up. You know, if at first you don't succeed, fire, fire again. Burger. Suff. Surf. Tiffany. Mi Amigos. Club. Dancing. Oh yeah, no, you got shot. Beer? Yep, it said beer. This is for kids' games. It's beer. Casino.
That was the actual pitch of the thing. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Okay, and the lesson is, just when you think you've escaped disaster, you find yourself in the middle of yet another fix. Maybe even in a worse one. Of course, no one likes problems, but when they come, don't they always seem to come in bunches? And when you're caught up in them, doesn't it always seem like they'll never end? Look at Pawn. Just when he thinks he's finally gotten through the worst of Cho's tricks and escaped to the safety of his home, but Pawn never gives up because he knows that if, if he can withstand the hardships, he can overcome them, and after pain, there is pleasure. After sorrow, there is happiness. Tricks, huh? Yo, I think he just tried to, like, shoot him and kill him. Yeah. Avoid beer. I don't- I don't know. I, I don't know. This this game is fucking fantastic, though. Um, I could play this for the, the next hour, but I don't think I'm going to. And then you get to learn about all the different characters and... Uh... Crab. So there's jokes about him being cooked. I'm glad games like this exist and, and are not, in fact, lost. Even though this was lost for many years. Um, I think I'm gonna do one more for now. Maybe, maybe two. One or two more. One or two more. What do you think, chat? What would be a good letter? B. Praise. Praise. Praise? Oh god, chat's Praise. gonna explode. Praise. Praise. <laughs> Praise. Someone just said, Vinny, I just got here, please explain. I, I, I kinda can't. Yeah, it does sound like the honey bee in a little bit, doesn't it? Praise... Uh... A monster flower has attacked. If Boo gets hit by the pollen that the monster flower spits out, he goes down. But if he eats Akiko's dumpling, he has the strength of a hundred pigs. Once Boo has eaten a dumpling, click the mouse near the monster flower. Oh, okay, it's a mini game. Yeah, this is um, yeah, great value. America's Choice Piranha Plant, absolutely. Nice brand piranha plant. Bowser. I don't... How many more times do I have to do this? That one was unique. I don't think I really want to do any more of that. Um, let me try... I'm gonna try one more. I'm gonna try just a simple, common letter. I I know what I'm hearing. What are you hearing, chat? Cut. Cut. My mind is filling in the end. Cut. Cut. 
Oh, caught. I thought it was cut. We were, wow, I think we were all wrong. be caught between sorry to be cut between a rock and a hard place <laughs> anyone caught in this situation is in a fix indeed every option is bad or worse and then the problem itself and you were just stuck there without a way out take mr okotsu this popular television cooking show he went to cut the lobster with a flourish of his prized knives, but only succeeded in getting them stuck in the chopping board. He wasn't able to push them to get a better look at the lobster. Or to pull them out to try again. Okotsk! The celebrated chef couldn't even raise his hands in defeat. As bad as it may seem, it's in such situations where a person's true character is revealed. What would you do? I, I don't know. I mean... What would you do? Yeah, die. Uh, people want me to do one more. I saw a request. I will do one more. S. Last one. Salita Penny. Salita Penny. Salita Penny. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Salita Penny. Oh, sleeping. Salita Penny. Salida pay. Salida pay. Salida pay. Salida pay. Ya bab ya bube. Yeah, I don't know. This this dude's pretty fucking drunk. Got four mini beers in the fridge, three empty bottles. This this isn't just sleeping. I don't touch that. Good scene. Yes, the fucking fridge is wide open. When I was little, my parents told me to always write my name on my own belongings and the time that I follow instructions to the letter. When I was child, my parents sent me to karate class. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good. I don't need to- you can take a screenshot of this and read it on your own time. I really, really don't feel like reading that out loud. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that hand? The lesson here is don't sleep around friends. I don't know, I don't like that approach. <laughs> okay. Okay! This could be considered 
verboten in, in many corners of the internet. And this as well. Just get rid of some of the context. Let sleeping dogs lie. Oh, 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 oh. Let sleeping dogs lie. We're better off leaving well enough alone and not meddling in things that have already been settled. To do so is like waking up a dog or baby that you've worked so hard to put to sleep. We all know how noisy and difficult they can be when they're awake. Porn couldn't leave well enough alone and had a copy Cho. He went too far though and ended up waking up jumping Jack Boo, who of course wasn't too happy about it. However. This is not to say that you shouldn't make waves if you see something you believe is wrong. By all means, you should speak out, but at the same time, be prepared for consequences. I'm gonna say something. Porn's a cunt. Good, uh, good game. Good game. Learned a lot. Uh, found out some stuff. Learned some lessons. seems to be like bonus content here. Oh wait, no, this is just more characters. I don't even... Someone in chat said that the lessons here are maybe a little bit complex for kids. I think... Uh, you know, I think maybe, yeah. Maybe so. My main hang-up with it was that I mean, there's a cultural barrier, too. But my main issue with that game was that it was, like, kind of... The lessons didn't line up to some of the visuals. <laughs> like, what the fuck was happening? Dude get, was getting shot. But I really enjoyed the weirdness of it. I liked the music and the strange characters, and... I can... Again, I can kind of appreciate the lessons, because you're trying to teach like Proverbs and Confucius and, you know, adverbs and, you know, various things that kids, like, might learn in a fairy tale, but summed up in just one bizarre little animation. So, I, I guess it's educational. I'm sure someone got something out of it when they were young. Uh, but now... Hi. Now I can bring you the I think the remainder of the edutainment which is like five games so yeah there's a lot of edutainment kind of went above the five or ten rather that were promised so this is the island of Dr. Brain kind of want to see the introduction I don't think I played this, but, uh, I kind of miss Sierra. Yeah, I'm trying to remember which games I had on the computers in, uh, Computer Lab. In, like, I guess it was about fifth grade? Fourth grade? I mean, there were plenty. Quandry, of course, is what I played on stream not too long ago, and that was the one I remembered. The last time you saw Dr. Thaddeus Egghead Brain, believed by many to be the greatest living eccentric mathematical genius to date, you had just been promoted to lab assistant in the dark and dusty basement laboratory of his castle. Only a short time- yeah, Eggman, I know. Only a short time before, in order to get hired for the job, <laughs> it's like Colonel, it's Colonel fucking Sanders had encountered several of the trickiest and twistiest puzzles ever known. What does he have in store for you this time? Recently, while working very late in my lab, I was finishing the plans. My latest top secret project. I heard a faint noise. It's a violent blow to his head, and then he got hit with a flamingo. Plans had been stolen. Um stuff. 
Are you an able navigator? Do parachutes bother you? Hello? All right. Should you get into any trouble, just give me a call. Questions? Wait a minute, this isn't the Colonel Hello. Sanders dating game. Dr. Brain's pilot is standing by to take you to his private island. Um... Zero degrees north latitude, zero degrees east longitude. Fuck. What? Enter anything, it's hacked. Oh, I see. That's it right there. That that spot right there. Oh, I get this is the copy protection. Congratulations. You earned a gold map I, skills plan. I wonder how many people actually fucking hacked into this. You will find my battery deep so they can play math. The interior of my island. Therefore, just follow the trail of my security puzzles if you have any problem solving them. Just give me a call. You knock on the wall and hear a hollow tap. Perhaps the facade is covering a large opening into something. It's Tetris? Polymonial? Polyomino puzzle. This is familiar. I don't think this is unlocking some weird memory, but this is very, very familiar. Did I fucking play this game? Jerma played it the other month. Also... I didn't get a chance to because I wasn't home. I didn't watch Jerma's carnival. But I saw some clips. And, uh. Wow. That's really all I could say is just fucking wow. Like, the dedication he has to keep people entertained and to do weird shit on his stream. It makes me wonder why people watch me. You have earned a bronze shape manipulation plaque. You want to talk about dedication? Yeah, I saw the clip of him getting hit um into the water tank. Dunked into the tank. Large microscope feels cold to the touch. The red button on the side turns it on. You smear the microscope slide with your finger, just like your science teacher always tells you not to do. Vector brain's microorganism sorter. That was a horrible noise that we just heard there. Yeah. Congratulations. You just have to get the beans in the right spots. Good. So wait, 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 wait. Your microscope coordinates are then inserted into a sarcophagus?
So this is going to be 60. Right. This is going to be... Um, oh, I see. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, it's mostly math, but I probably would have enjoyed this. I think maybe I played this. I can't really be sure, but 95, and then minus 6, and then minus another 6, and then minus another 6. This is like 77. And then this is um, 71, that's 5, and another 5. It's going to be uh, 86. I mean, I hate math. I was not good at math in college, or high school, or ever. I could do what I had to do. I was able to figure it out. I was able to get through my classes, but it, it was never something I enjoyed. Sometimes the... Sometimes the math would click, sometimes it wouldn't. And when it wouldn't, it was the worst fucking thing ever. You take the stone discs from the friendly and smelly skeleton. Oh, it's this fucking thing. This was in another game, wasn't it? So, wait a minute. This, this is in shovelware. Towers of Hanoi. Move all the discs from the left pole to the right pole. I mean, these puzzles are... They're, they're what they are, you know, they're what they are. Any other game would maybe throw this at you for a second. You deal with it, you move on. But in this case, now... This game is, is just, it's just puzzles and math. Which, normally I would say, how dare you make me do math, but... I guess if I was a kid and I had to play this... It'd be fine. Am I gonna be able to do this? Yeah, I think so. I think I got this. I think I'll just solve this. If I can't... Oh, wait, no, I can't. <laughs> then you're doing it. Mm. Yes, and... So I need to get this over there, so... I got it! Boy, that noise. I, I, no, no, I didn't, I didn't done it yet, chat. Let me, let me figure out how to do this so my brain can feel good. This is what you call brain food. Nice, got it, eight. Completed this puzzle in 36 moves. In fact, the minimum number of moves is 15. Congratulations! You have earned a bronze logic sequence plan. Animated jigsaw puzzle. You'll find all the pieces to it in the chest. Yeah, this is, this is pretty good. I kind of like this edutainment. I think I'm okay with it. For the most part. I like puzzles. I like animated puzzles, too. Oh, you can even check and see and stuff. That's fine. There, there sure are a lot of flamingos. 
So this this ain't happening today. No fucking way is it happening. Exit. Hey, the exit button shouldn't be right below the treasure chest. That's just my opinion. Just, uh, just a thought. Okay, I'm good here on Island of Dr. Brain. This is good. This is, uh, this is good brain yachting. Okay, moving on to Math Blaster Plus. Please enter your name. Let's see. Brain Yet. Brain Yet joined Spot and me on our space adventures. I want to solve. 5 plus 0 equals numlock off. Never mind. Okay, I have to do that. There we go. I'm feeling like I'm, I'm ready to blast. So we haven't even really started the game yet, huh? So you have to build the rocket ship with math so you can actually start the game and do the real math. Boy, I want that quadratic quadrilateral equation. I don't remember what it was, but boy, I would love that math again. Damn. Wait, maybe this isn't exactly what I'm thinking it is. Vinny, choose the level, F5. Okay. The mouse is not working, so I can't, I can't do this. Now the mouse is working, let's see, F5. I'm trying to press arrow keys, okay, arrow keys work here. I don't think it's letting me unlock this shit. So yeah, I can't I can't change it. I can't do better math yet. It won't let me be more math smart. See now this makes you want to solve equations. Look at that brain yacht. September twenty third, two thousand nineteen. At the age of 34 years old. Trash zapper. Nine plus one. Oh, I see. Okay. So yeah, I didn't play Math Blaster as a kid. I, I think I played some... Some math stuff on the computers, but I don't remember. I would have remembered Math Blaster. Hey, I'm better at math than I am at shoot. And no, you can't um, just switch to a different level. Let's do Math Blaster. Here we go. Mouse. Uh, beginner. What? Oh, the qu the equations at the top. Well, this is just math with more steps. You're just tricking me into playing a video game. 
Or rather, you're tricking me through the video game to do math. I mean, I get it. Probably worked, but I was fine with typing the numbers in. <laughs> that was fine, too. Not most... Oh, shit. Uh-oh. I did Babby Equation wrong. Oh, no. Chat, please... Please forgive me. Um, I was gonna say... Oh, this is different. Hang on a minute, this is different. This, you gotta get yourself sucked up. You can't just, like, press the suck button. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is, um... When you have that little extra motivation, jokes aside... Like a carrot being That's interesting that that carrot just showed up. I was just thinking about carrots. Like, you get a little something dangled in front of you, like a carrot, and it makes you want to learn. It's funny, because my math teachers, when I was growing up, were... like, really mean? And I think that might be why I hate math so much. Because I learned math from people that were mean, and instead of positive reinforcement, and like dangling a carrot or a Swedish fish in front of me, um... it was a lot of negative reinforcement. And that's fine. I mean, it can work in certain circumstances, but I didn't... I didn't want to learn math. I just thought it was just like, fuck, get this over with. I want to learn about stories. I want to hear about how Lewis and Clark had diarrhea all across their journey. That would have been much more interesting than math. It's true, by the way. I think they did have diarrhea. But, I mean, the other part of it was just me. I didn't want to do math. I mean, that's just maybe my makeup. I mean, no amount of bad teachers can make me hate something I already don't like. Their entire trek is trackable because their shits were radioactive. Because there's a specific metal in their stool. Oh. Okay. Well, Super Munchers is next. Vinny, did you like science more than math? I did, yeah. I enjoyed science class a lot. Even geography. Charge. I like geography uh, a little bit, but I like science more. Any kind of science. Anything about space. And I know there's math involved in all of this stuff. Science and math go hand in hand, but I liked the way it was presented better. I just, I don't know, I just found solving the problems boring. The fuck was that? Do you need instructions? No. Come on. I'm gonna go for famous Americans. Singers or musicians. Dick Butkus? John Wayne does not fit singers or music. Oh, <laughs> dumbass. Um, Diana Ross, Stevie Wonder, Cher, Paula Abdul, Ronald Reagan. Yo, did motherfucker Ronald Reagan sing? Sammy Davis Jr., Barry Manilow, Diana Ross, Paula Abdul. We chose to go to the moon. We chose to go to the moon. Basketball greats. Oh, I have no idea. Uh, yeah, no, I do know, actually. I, I know more than I thought I did. Um... Uh... Arnold Palmer is, is a drink, and also golf. Um, is... I just took a chance with Dick Butkus. Ken Carlo. How about that Ken Carlo?
I'm going to stick with beginner for a minute. I'm going to do geography. Oh, music is good, but geography. Large bodies of water. <laughs> the Soviet Union? Maybe not. Countries. Ah, oh, fuck, dumbass. Oh, <laughs> uh, God. Uh, what am I missing here? Libya? Chile. Uh, what popped up? What am I missing? Oh, I didn't even see Cuba. It's just like my brain did not make it happen. Troggle. Tr troggle? Fuck is a troggle? What do you mean? Did I win? Yo, I'm massive. I'm... Um... Gonna need a little... No. Why would I choose India? Portugal? Booty stupid. Hungry? Yeah, I don't know. I re I listened. I I don't know everything, chat. Sometimes I my knowledge can be stupid, you know. My geography is is okay, I guess, but who which disguise Trogel has the map? I wasn't paying attention. Well, fuck. New Jersey. I know about New Jersey. Death Valley? That's a state, isn't it? CVB? I kind of like this. Musical instruments. Salt. Mint. Loot. Guitar, electric guitar. Chimes. Yay! String instruments! Okay. Guitar, guitar, banjo, violin. Fucking tuba. No. Uh, it's, it's also... There's harp. Harp, banjo, banjo. Harp. Banjo! Percussion instruments. The other... We were doing this before. Bass drum. Anything with the word drum, gong, 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 bass drum, conga drum, conga drum, conga drum, conga drum, and uh, what else? What am I? Conga drum, gong. <laughs> Not very many there, huh? Let me, let me, um, hang on a minute. Let me try something just to see what happens here. No instructions. I want to do genius level music. Composers. Uh. Uh. I'm not cheating. I'm not looking at the chat. Monteverdi? I don't know. Maybe. Um. Now I'm cheating. Mahler. Uh, oh, where's Chopin? Oh, Chopin, Frederick Chopin, yeah. And, um... Chat, it's not funny that his name is Balzac. Author... Rossini? Yeah, Rossini made uh, that, that the, the thing with the magpie, no? 
Modest m Mouse. Ludwig Van. Vivaldi. And, uh... Who's left? I don't know, chat. D Butkus? Tolstoy is an author, no? Balzac and S Sibelius? Yay, composer of the Baroque period. Yo. That's not fucking happening. That's all I got. Nope. This someone just said this is meant for second graders, isn't it? I guess. I mean, there's, there's you could just choose genius level and it could be for anyone. Uh Super Munchers, Instructions, we're going to go Advanced, and I'm going to try Challenge. And the Cat Family, Jaguar. Bobkit. I like this game. I do. I think this is cool. Where was this when I was growing up? I would have enjoyed this. Oh, Leopard, Cheetah. Okay. Hispanic Americans. Emilio Estevez. Gloria Estefan. Roberto Clemente. Gloria Estefan. Martin Sheen, believe yeah, that's that's um Emilio Estevez's father. It's not Gershwin. Um Don't I don't know. Stonewall Jack. Chat, what the fuck? Some of these are just repeating. I can't... I don't know. Geraldo? Where's Geraldo? I didn't see that son of a bitch. Where's you, where'd you see Geraldo? Raquel Welch? Oh, I didn't know that. U.S. Cities? New Orleans, Buffalo, Albany, Trenton, Baton Rouge, Kansas City, Bismarck, Bismarck, Jackson, Miami, Carson City, Carson City, New Orleans, Salt Lake City, uh, Los Angeles. Oh. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? What am I missing? What? How? What am I, what am I missing? New Orleans. Oh, I... Oh, fuck! No, no, I meant New Orleans. God damn it. I don't like... <laughs> I don't want to do this mini game. Then you can kill the troggles while powered. I don't know. Okay. No, I don't want to do that one. Do maybe like one or two more. I hope you don't mind, chat. I'm enjoying this. I don't know how good this is for Sunday stream, but I don't really care. I like it. Um, we're learning. I want to do odds and ends. Appliances or electrical devices. Sewing machine, tape deck. Freezer, clothes dryer, microwave oven. Got the beer in a microwave oven. Appliances, electrical device, freezer, uh, radio. <laughs> Get that cheddar. Kitchen utensils, spleen, pan, saucer, knife, pan. What the fuck is a sarong? Why does that sound familiar? I don't know what the hell that is. Tablespoon, teaspoon, um, tablespoon, boots, no, archery, fuck off, strainer, cornet's an instrument, dumbass, cleaver, good old Cleveland steamer, egg beater, and, um, 
Foot! Okay. Solids at room temperature. I am fucked. Alright, um... Zinc. Uh, fucking zinc. Magnesium. If this was on the test, I would fail. Uh, fucking potassium. Copper. Definitely copper. Brass. Mm hmm Milk. <laughs> uh, nickel. Potassium, zinc. Bronze. Nickel, steel. Chromium. Um, silicon. Uranium. I guess I knew a lot more about this than I thought I did. And, um... Phosphorus. And silicon. Oh, wow, okay. Well, I bullshitted my way through that test, and, uh... I got an A! You just have to think about it for a couple minutes. Holidays. March is not a holiday. Oh, you asshole, you- you eaten me. Fuck you. Easter. Christmas. Valentine's Day. Thanksgiving. Halloween. Planets. Love me some planets. What is Elba? Idris Elba? Cuba? <laughs> Cuba is its own planet? All right. Sports. Rutabaga is not a sport. Ricketts is not a sport. Poncho is not a fucking sport. Archery. Archery. Table tennis. Squash. Table tennis. Weightlifting. Aspirin. Mumps. Oh, God, there's diseases in here. I don't want that shit. Racquetball, racquetball. I was tempted to say racquetball is not a sport, but someone will probably get mad at me, right? Is typhoid a sport? You know, in some parts of the world, it could be. Hmm. I wasn't really... Okay. I was looking at the color of the dude. I was like, oh, it's blue. That's easy. Um, one more. One more, and, uh, what, what haven't we done yet, chat? Challenge pissing? You want me to go genius? I'm not gonna do this. How about genius... Um... Genius animals? Genius music, I tried that already. Genius challenge. So this is more cities. I'm going to do genius odds and ends, I think. Months of the year. Wow. Saturday. <laughs> I was tempted. I was looking at that Saturday. I was like, hmm. Yo, Saturday, though. Shapes. Oval. Yeah, sphere. Ellipse. Square. Triangle. This is genius level, I guess. Oh, it's like, this is like Pac-Man when you get that thing. Cylinder. Pyramid. Circle. Circle. Triangle. Cube. Fuck you. Uh, rhombus. Square. Pyramid. Cylinder. Trapezoid. Pyramid. And, uh, cylinder. Kitchen utensils. Here we go. Teaspoon. Juicer. Um, uh, what the fuck is some of this, this stuff? Uh, it's, uh, cerium fez. Uh, <laughs> a wire whip? Hmm. Peeler. Pot. What is a tureen? Chat told me that. I, I cheated by looking at chat. 
What, what the fuck is a terrine? Potato masher. Pipe plate. Pipe plate. Pie plate! I read that as pipe plate. Stupid brain. Uh, knife. It's a gravy holder. Oh. Oh, that's a gravy holder? That's what that is? Okay. Um... Lenny Kravitz? No. A wire whip is correct. Let's see. Yeah, apparently so. Sifter. Sarong. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. Sieve. No. It's not my finest performance, was it, there, chat? Colors. All right, maybe I can do a little bit of this. Let's see where to go. I mean, the good news about this is that you can actually see how well I do, and if I don't do so well, you can... You can compare our intelligences, and then you can feel better about your own... <laughs> if you really think about it. What is that? Oh, oh. Chemical pump compounds, pompounds or mixtures. Compounds or mixtures. Compounds or mixtures. Tung no. Um. Reform. Beryllium. <laughs> uh, uh, benzene. This. Th this is where I fail. That is where I fail. Then you kept picking elements. Yeah. Them damn elements, aren't they? Just so elemental. I, I like that. I like trivia game that is good game. And that was good game. I like testing my general knowledge. And you can see, yeah... Uh, could be a little bit better. I wouldn't do any... I wouldn't do any good at Jeopardy. Okay, so this is called... Professor Blumen has been laboring over his latest project. The Wild Science Arcade. I still don't know what a sarong is. Um, the professor has created an arcade-like machine that demonstrates a few basic principles of physics. It's a wrap that you wear around your waist. It's probably an RPG that I picked up a sarong at some point. Hi, I'm Edison. What's your name? Yeah. I guess so. Sure. What is your voice? Why is your voice crust? This is interesting. This is very interesting. There's no blue. There's no blue pant. That's seems like a pretty like obvious thing to forget. Not having blue pant. I like how this character speaks in fire. I'm older to be. I'm not even skipping. It's just skipping.
<laughs> this is the worst music ever. This game has some really interesting sound effects and music, doesn't it? Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's a little science-y, I guess, but it's it's more just physics. It's like kind of uh it's it's billiards. It's marbleish billiards. The angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. Oh yeah, I just- yeah, Kirby. That was the fucking main comparison that I couldn't make, is that this is very Kirby. Dream course. Absolutely. Is this whole game like this? Friction is a force that acts between two objects that are in contact, like the ball and the flow. The more friction there is, the sooner the ball will stop. Try your first shot with friction at four. Your baby. I kind of want to go back to the main menu. It just wouldn't let me. I'll try one more time. Yeah, I thought we were going to do like science experiments and stuff. Someone in chat said I'm actually playing Dream Course right now. It's me, Tesla, again. Come on, you know me. I just wanted to do... I want to see if there's anything else in this game. I'm... I'm where 436 That's my MMO name. Hunter2 is the password. Cool. Yeah, that's... that's the sound effect of, like, shooting fire out of your, like, face in an NES game. So... I'm gonna go to the playroom. And you can choose the ball type, too. Just have fun. Yeah, it's something to fuck around with. It's no incredible machine. Where'd it go? Marble mediocrity? Yeah, this is- this is not... It's not all that great. Um, and I have one more for you, it's called Challenge of the Ancient Empires. Oh my god, that was... Way too fucking loud. Okay, now this... Dude looks familiar. Who is this dude? Centuries ago, a band of pirates hid important treasures in the ancient world in caverns beneath the desert. Beep. Find your way through an intricate maze rigged with booby tra- Hahaha, <laughs> moving platforms and deep chasms. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me tonight. Uh, yeah, some special objects and stuff. Wasn't this dude in the high school game? Sphinx, this is the perfect game for you. So I'll be tight. I'm gonna go to Egypt, because Egypt is the best. Hmm. 
took damage anyway. We are the bastards. We eat. Someone said this is the best uh, new King Gizzard song. It does sound a bit gizzardish if you just put some guitar. Oh, I see. We eat salad. Yeah, this isn't very learning. Oh wait, you know, well I guess so. It's no more learning than um like a game an action game. I probably would have liked this even though it controls like ass. These seem to be energy resources. Yeah, you kind of, you know, you're able to just jump around, collect stuff, and then solve the puzzles. It's no more edutainment than any other, like, platformer that has puzzle-related, um, dungeons. But, yeah, obviously this is more geared towards the edutainment, and it's not really that great. I don't really like it very much. Maybe I'm the wrong audience to judge. The series is good. I like the one in the high school where you had to like do do detective work and find who who the jerk off was. That was fun. Vinny, can we send you an edutainment game to consider playing? Um, well, this is the final this is the final edutainment for now. I did the charity stream edutainment and this was the incentive to play the rest of the charity stream stuff. And um Someone just said, if you're not the right audience for this game, then no one is. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> um, I, someone else just said, he's learned everything he's needed to learn. I am now the big brain. I have become the true brain yacht. What I was trying to say is, you can submit some edutainment. I don't think I'll be doing edutainment for a little while, but if there's any other good ones or particularly uh, nostalgic ones for you that you think would make an entertaining stream, please let me know about it because I could put together an edu another entertainment edutainment. I think I've become stupider after doing this. I can't even say words now. I get it. Haha, <laughs> I get the picture. You just don't have any sound effects or, or feedback of any kind, so you just have to kind of hope that you hit the thing. Did that not work? Oh, I see. If you fuck it up, then you, you go back to the beginning. It doesn't just randomly, like, get rid of the thing. Oh, well, there's at least different puzzles. Again, if this was in, you know, computer class in fifth grade, I probably would have enjoyed this even more than some of the other shit. Like that Dr. Quandry game, I did not really care for that much. Nostalgic as it may be. But yeah, I feel dumb. Um, 
But that is, I think that's the final edutainment. And it petered out. Just considering it started so damn strong. How about this? Why don't we end strong? Hey, hey. Oh, wait, we don't want Bungie. Why don't we end strong? Let me teach you a couple more life lessons. And then I can show you Zelda. Just like two more letters. That's it. Just two more letters. We may never get smarter. I may never get smarter. But at least we'll know to let sleeping dogs lie. Someone said, I nominate the letter G. All in favor of letter G, say I. <laughs> What's that? You want me to do the letter I? G. We'll do two letters. Go. 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 Goal. Go. Goal. Go. 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 Oh no, not this again. <laughs> no, not the strut. No, he's he's going to get some beer again. This fucking guy. Okay. Hand. That is a hand. I know hands are hard to draw. I can't fucking draw hands. I can't 3D model hands either. Okay, he's thinking about doing some crimes. So this is when you feel. Like you need to go. <laughs> you might get drop kicked. You might get drop kicked in the face. So go to the polls. Go home. Oh, that's that's really easy. Come, easy go. I guess that sure. Ill-gotten gains are quickly lost. Ill-gotten. That's my name. Pawn stumbled upon what he thought was some easy money, even though it wasn't really his, and therefore it should have been turned over to the authorities. All he could think about was what he could spend it on. But the coin just turned out to be just another of Cho's tricks. What did Pawn end up gaining? Anything you don't actually earn by yourself, and that comes too quickly or too easily, is almost always squandered away just as quickly and easily. You know what? I like that lesson. Yeah, you don't want to squand dog your stuff and and all that. How about you? How about you? Don't squand dog yourself, everybody. Use. 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 What does that say? Good nut? Good... I don't know what that says.
good kanta. Okay. No use crying over spilled milk. I have a better lesson. Bring more milk, asshole. In fact, don't bring milk to a picnic because there's no way you can refrigerate it unless you have a lot of ice. So... It's just gonna, you know, spoil. You don't want spoiled milk at a picnic. Coolers are not uncommon objects. Oh shit. You're right. Yo, what is this cooler? What's done is done, it cannot be undone. Alright, listen. The truth is... If you bring milk to your picnic... I want you to be prepared for the consequences, that's all. I'm trying to do the right thing here. There's no use feeling regret or remorse. There is uh, such a finality in this, don't you think? But isn't this how things really are? Haven't you found that it's simply impossible to take back a comment that you unwisely made or reverse a decision that shouldn't have been made? George, for one, sure wishes he was more careful than drinking his milk. That's right, we must think before we act, not after when it's too late. Someone just said this game is depressing me. I mean, there's lessons in here to learn. It's it's only one more. Um, chat, nominate a letter. Some of these lessons I hate. L, do L. Okay. Some of the lessons are okay. Little. 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 <laughs> it's Lul. 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 I I just yeah I just hear Yanny I I yeah. That's right, chat. Thank you for bringing back that two-year-old meme. Space noises. <sighs> oh, okay. Well, I guess we chose the right one to end on. That's when you eat something and it comes out your sphincter. Three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! That's a lot of gas. The power of White Castle. Doesn't line up to your lesson. I've never heard that before. One, two. I don't know what that has to do with a massive fucking nuclear fart. Haven't you found that the smallest chili peppers are usually the hottest? The same applies to Japanese Sancho pepper. Many times to people and things around us. That is why we must avoid judging a book by its cover, remembering that indeed good things also come in small packages. Pawn made the mistake of underestimating the potency of the tiny, apparently innocuous Sancho Pepper. It seems he got a free ride out of it, though. I mean, now that you explain it like that, I guess I kind of get it.
I'm so happy we went back to that game. That is the logical conclusion of the uh, Vine Sauce Edutainment segment. Fuck. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you for learning with me, everyone, class. You are almost dismissed to go play your Zelda 64 game that's about to come out. And you'll be able to do that when we get out of school at 2.30. Then you can go to wherever you get your games and you can get Ocarina of Time. Hopefully you get the gold cartridge. Hopefully it's not sold out. But before we do that, I want to say that I feel a little stupider today than usual. And edutainment has set me back probably about a year. But it was worth it. I enjoyed it very much. Um, and thank you for the suggestions, everybody that sent me suggestions on Twitter a while back. And um, we were able to compile a good list of games through those suggestions. So if you have more edutainment that you think would make for a good uh, game in, in a segment, then please send it my way. Because I may check that out at some point in the future. You cannot go to the bathroom. You're always in there. You're just looking to take a walk. And you don't actually need to go to the bathroom. <laughs>